Are you tired of other shitty airline companies that cannot get your bags to its very final destination? Are you tired of not being able to bring your goat wife on your airline flight with you? Getting frustrated with not being able to build a bomb on a plane? I have the solution for you, my friend. Today, we will introduce you to our brand new airline flight company, Kaboom Airlines. Kaboom Airlines makes sure to take care of all of its passengers. We make sure the very best to provide for them and getting them to their final destination. You have bomb? That is okay. We like bomb. Bomb is fine on Kaboom Airlines because all of our flights are one-way trips, no matter what. One thing is for sure, you can definitely count on Kaboom Airlines being a blast of a trip. Remember, we are the only airliner that can land anywhere. You do not even need an airport. You just point at building or place and we land there. That is how we do it. So remember, always go to Kaboom Airlines for your best terrorist experience for airline flight. If you are American looking for a good time, I guarantee you, you will have one great time in a very big way on Kaboom Airlines. Remember, all of our passengers on Kaboom Airlines are guaranteed to have a blast. Make sure to always buy our plane tickets over any other airliners because our prices are explosive. Make sure to check us out at www.isisownsairlines.kaboomairlines.net.cbc.com terrorist. Remember, all of our passengers will feel engulfed on Kaboom Airlines because we put you first. Want some of the best metal interviews and tour dates possible? Check out our local sponsor, Death by Metal STL. Some of the most amazing interviews with some of the biggest metal bands in the industry. Check these guys out at www.deathbymetalstl.com. One of the best metal magazines in the industry, always supporting the independent artists and always pushing independent music. Remember, you heard it right here on The Pit. What's going on, guys? So, yeah, it's that time. Yeah, we have to talk about our retard of the week. So, in Chicago, Illinois, um, well, we'll say his first name, this, this kid named Billy, or William, in Chicago, Illinois, was uh, caught in his car as a serious victim of a prank gone wrong. His borderline homosexual friend, which I think is pretty fucking gay, but just not bashing on gay people, just saying this is pretty messed up. These guys took his pants off. Yeah. So the guy wakes up, and not only is his nutsack glued to the car, his hands are glued to the steering wheel. Now he can't really, uh, really do anything about this, but he was found by police because one of the people in the area thought there was a pervert jerking his gherkin in the car outside. So, uh, poor dude is super embarrassed, but it's actually uh, on a little bit of a news clip, and, uh, yeah, his whole little, uh, little area school probably feeling it for him. He was a high school kid, so I really feel bad for the guy, but, uh, yeah, this guy thought it would be a great idea, and, and when the cops found him, uh, because they were yelling at him, that, and the reason I'm about to call him a dumbass is rather than just sit there and sit still and explain your situation, he decided to jerk himself up off the seat. Needless to say, they had a bleeder on their hands. He survived with minor injuries. Still, though, pretty scary. So, note to self, if nuts are ever super glued to car seat, don't jump up. Probably not a good idea. Probably a really bad idea. That poor motherfucking kid. So, that's my dumbass of the week. Uh, and uh, I kind of like to look up these uh, what the fuck little news facts here and there. And I'm not I'm not even sure if half the shit's even true or not, but I don't care. This shit's funny. Dude had his nuts glued to a fucking car seat. Holy shit, dude. That's fucked up. For real. 
And I was just telling somebody a story the other day about how I pooped in somebody's shoes 10 years ago. And we still keep laughing about it every time we talk about it. And that guy, I'm sure, thinks about it to this day. And I'm probably sure you guys are wondering, why the fuck did Jack poop in somebody's shoes? All right, I'll give you a, a short version of the story. I was at a party. It was a friend of mine's birthday party. Okay? He was 21. We were young. All right? So he just turned 21, so we're all drinking booze. And there's this one fucking asshole there who's just being a fucking prick to everybody. He's being a belligerent, drunk fucking douche. Okay? We've all seen these guys. We all know who they are. We, every time we go to a bar, we see them. We can't help but miss these assholes. So, dude talks a bunch of shit about me and some of my friends. So we waited basically until he passed out. And he had these little van slip-on shoes with no socks. And I was like, oh, man, I got me an idea. I think I'm drunk, and I need to poop, and I think I'm going to poop in that guy's shoes. And my friends thought that that was fucking funny. And I thought that that was fucking funny, so I grabbed my shoes and uh, truffed my ass up to the bathroom and took a heaving loaf in both of his fucking loafers. Yes, sir. I pooped in this guy's shoes. Now, at first... We thought of the plan of, hey, we should wake him up and tell him his car is being towed or some crazy shit. Make him put his shoes on real quick. Now think about it. Because he just slide. He was one of those people who just slipped his shoes on. He wouldn't even fucking think about it. And we couldn't wake the guy up. So we said, well, fuck it. We'll see what happens, I guess, in the morning. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, we got lucky, all right. We got lucky enough to hear this guy scream and yell and threaten to kill everyone in that motherfucking house. And even better, the dude took his shoes off and still managed to track shit through the house. And I uh, just want to put this out there. It's not like a big, healthy, tough shit. No, this was like a kind of watered-down, white castle Bud Light kind of shit. You know, when you've been drinking beer for fucking hours and hours and hours, it's not going to be fucking so solid. So this dude was uh, plenty mad, and his shoes were definitely ruined. And I felt better because we never saw this cocksucker ever again. And he never, ever, ever, ever came back to another fucking party ever again. So, moral of the story is, if there's a douchebag who shows up at your parties, when he's passed out, just take a dump in his shoes. He'll never come back. Because to this day, he still has no idea that I'm the guy who did it. Uh, he has no clue. He has no clue. And, if he, and you know what? If I ran into that guy again ever, I would tell him, hey, hey, dude. Remember that time you were at that party? Somebody pooped in your shoes.